Sorry, sorry, Monty. We're going to move on to the next round because the next round is coming up in a moment. But what I forgot to tell everyone in the audience is not only am I the uh, MC and the referee, I'm also the judge, and I've been scoring these rounds whether our future, the undisputed future, is going to be integration or interruption. But I think we need someone with a more balanced view than I have, someone who can bring different angles to this equation, someone who is a musician, an actor, someone who is actually won the Cannes Film Festival Award for Male Revelation, Breakthrough Performance, Male Performance. He is a music producer, he's a program producer, he's a program, he is chairman of Nickelodeon's team channel, Team Nick. He is Chairman Nick, but let's have Chairman Nick tell us a little more about his job, what he does. Please, run the reel. Let's check my first official messages as the chairman of Team Nick. Hey Nick, it's Ellen. Congratulations on that whole chairman thing. The generous is so generous. Spending all my time loving you, all my time loving you. Need a few more seconds in my day. Spending all my time loving you, all my time loving you. Got to work on my handshake. This joint is so green. The more efficiently you drive it, the more it leaves it grow. You're my brain. Spending all my time loving you, all my time loving you. 25 hours in my day. Most of my energy is dedicated to being the chairman of Team Nick. Hey Nick, it's Taylor. Congratulations, you're gonna make an incredibly cute chairman. Hey, nothing like a little Taylor Swift. That I'm looking at you, you got my attention. I forgot to mention, you're the most beautiful girl I know, and I got no place to go. Need a few more seconds in my day. Spending all my time. Congratulations. All right, but what I do need you to do is bring home some ice cream. I don't even want to hear it. Brother can't go get no ice cream for his wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nick Cannon. Woo! Nick, come sit down here, buddy. Hey. <laughs> okay, Nick. All right. We brought you out to bring some order here. Can you kind of score the rounds? How did you see the fight going so far? So far, it feels like integration is is it, it's no contest. I Whoa. mean, uh, at this point, I mean, obviously done properly. Uh, integration is the right way to go, from what everybody's saying thus far. Okay, and what do you think is uh, in this for the brands collabor brands collaborating with you rather than just buying the ad space? It, what, is that better for them? Uh, absolutely. I mean, to me, it's all about lifestyle at the end of the day, uh, whether it's a brand, uh, the brand wants to be a part of the lifestyle, and as uh, an audience member, we're observing lifestyles that are either appealing, aspiring, or similar to ours. So if we can understand that, Whatever the, the lifestyle that the brand is trying to uh, perpetuate at the same time, it's appealing in that content, then, you know, that's what I'm tuning in for. If I'm watching a show that's about video games and I love video games, I want to see what the new video game, I want to be advertised too. I want the new video game to be a part of this show that I'm paying So attention. teens, the teen audience that you're trying to reach, I mean, they're very marketing savvy. You know, <laughs> this, this kind of staying real, the stuff that common and these guys are talking about, respecting them as an audience. Authenticity is everything, especially for the demographic that I deal with because they are so fickle. They don't like to be spoon-fed anything. They're, they they want to discover it on their own. They want to be a part of it. So and so when stuff is force fed to them, it feels it feels weird, and they turn it away. So if there's a way that uh, content can be presented at the same time through the brand, I think that's a lot more appealing than you know, as as a, a young person, you know, it's the ADD generation. So if it's a commercial, they don't want to see it. They 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 turn to it, or it's all about. Uh, reaching out and, and getting content when you want it. They call it, uh, or the microwave generation. It's like, right. I want it, I want it now. So if there's a way that, of course, but we want products. We want the coolest new things, but we want it at our own time and so at our the own brand, So the brand owners out there who are worried about letting control of their brand and partnering you collaboratively, you know, they write the script, then hire the talent. They don't always work with the talent. How do, how do you answer that? What's, how do you overcome their fears? Uh, I think it goes back to what the gentlemen in the ring were saying. It's just 
uh, that authenticity, embracing uh, the creativity first. I mean, when you think about everyone on this stage, we're all creative, and just like you, we're all, we're all creative, but it's a way to present that creativity. When you put it in a way where uh, it doesn't seem creative or it doesn't seem organic to what's going on or what the audience actually wants. And so, and then you as Chairman Nick, <laughs> Mr. Ch Chairman Nick, programming, you Absolutely. know, do you see this as having benefits? Does this get more, more money on screen? Does this fund more content? Is that that side of things? Ultimately, it cuts out the middleman. I mean, as someone who runs a, a television network uh, and trying to figure out a way to, a lot of time these dollars that advertisers are get, giving for time, the content providers never get to see it. And it never gets a, and we never get a chance to utilize uh, all the money that is being spent on those spots that, you know, before. I, I always go back to the time when you think about, you know, the beginning of television, soap operas. I mean. The, the soap companies were the producers of that content. Right. And instead of having a 30 second commercial, they had an hour long presentation. So that, to me, if we could, you know, that was the dawn of something new, and now we're upon the dawn of something okay, new. Okay, I'm gonna.